السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين All the praises to Allah We praise Him and seek His aid and ask His forgiveness and may the peace and blessings and exalted mention be upon His slave and messenger Muhammad His house of kin, His companions and all who followed them exactly until the day of judgment We continue insha'Allah where we were last time So we said that Insha'Allah, we are studying the word itself individually before being placed into sentences. Okay? Yani the structure of the word. And when do we use more letters and when do we not? And if we use more letters, what are the meanings for which we use this form? Okay? And several meanings and several forms. And each form has a meaning. For sarf, as we said, is what barakallahu fikum. Ma huwa sarf? We said sarf is turning. Turning what? The source uh -huh. into different forms. Why? Then comes the question why? Okay, then you say in order to express different in order to express different meanings meanings okay so why do we have to turn into different forms in order to express different meanings yeah, and you could ask another question why so the answer then would be what would be because each form has its own meaning and each meaning comes with its own form. Well, there. Each form has a meaning. And each meaning has its own form. So in order to express different meanings which aren't expressed except through their own forms. So this is the sign. I'm going to put this definition once again in the top of our board. So inshallah, we can always be reminded of it. And we, we can see how it applies to what we mentioned, inshallah. Okay? So let's inshallah elaborate further. So we said turning the source into different forms. Okay? Let's take some, inshallah, technical terms today. How does that sound? Should we take a bit of technical terms, or at least we take a bit of definitions. Okay, we take a bit of definitions. Now, the source. Let's talk about the source a bit. Now, the source, what is meant here, the source, what is meant by it is what is called in Arabic what? al -mustar. Al-Masdar, okay? And Al-Masdar is equal in English to, yani somewhat equal, okay? Yani, uh, I'm going to, you know, always keep this in your mind, that we're taking some English terms just for the sake of clarification. Yani, don't uh, expect, never expect that those um, English technical terms are exact, synonyms to the uh, words that we mention in Arabic, okay? But why do we mention those in English? Just for the sake of explaining and translating and giving you a closer understanding to what we mean. Well, there. But at the end, it's never يعني, what replaced. You can never replace this with that because it doesn't mean exactly that because each Arabic term has its own meaning technically. I hope I'm not going too fast for you, inshallah. So, the source, what is meant by the source? It is what we call in Arabic, al-masdar. Al-masdar, okay? Let me write the transliteration. Okay, you say al-masdar, okay? Why did they call it masdar? Of course, masdar here is a technical term. Hmm? Al-masdar linguistically means the source. Okay, they called it, yani here, uh, so, al-masdaru, al-masdar, 
What is al masdar? Al masdar means the source. Why? Ah, uh, here. And what is meant here? And what is meant here? Mainly, mainly is what is the verbal noun. The verbal noun in Arabic, of course. Okay. Yeah, when they say al-masdar, okay, al-masdar, what are they referring to technically by the word al-masdar? Say the verbal noun, okay. And the verbal noun, yeah, the closest way to, yeah, I mean, to get it to your understanding, that the verbal noun is the act regardless of the time frame. The act, yeah, I mean, the act itself. The act itself, regardless what, regardless the time frame, I and mean, regardless when it's done, and regardless of the doer, regardless of the doer, yeah, I mean, we're talking about the act itself. No matter who did it and no matter when he did it. Wadih? Wadih barakallahu feekum. This is al Mustafa. Okay? Yani, for example, the act of eating. So, eating. Yes. Tafsenti. No. Right. Exactly. Running. Uh, drinking. Talking. Writing. Okay? All of that are what? Verbal nouns. Okay? Same thing in Arabic. Same thing in Arabic. Okay. Why have they decided, please pay attention, that the word um, implying um, the verbal noun in Arabic is al-masdar, al-masdar. Yani why have they chosen that word specifically? Yes, yes, you can say that, Sister Arifa, you can say that, yes. Why have they decided that the word implying the verbal noun in Arabic is al-masdar? Why have they chosen that word specifically, other than other words? Huh? Is it clear? Why have they decided that the word implying the verbal noun should be called al-masdar? Hmm? Should be called al-masdar? Is, is the... Is the uh, uh, is the question uh, clear? Yeah, the question is clear, huh? Right. So we say because, or let's say due to it being the source from which many forms are made. Due to it being the source from which many forms are made. Understood? Due to it being the source from which many forms are made. So in Arabic, in the Arabic language, al-mustar, the verbal noun, is where we start, and yani it is our starting point here. Uh, don't panic, inshallah. Can you hear me? Do not panic, inshallah. It's just an uh, internet connection problem that is gone now. Right. Again, so, due to it being the source from which many forms are made. Okay, are you with me? Are you with me? Huh? Okay, we'll say, in other words, in other words, what did we want to say? Yes, you can say that, yes. Many forms are derived. But better to say, yes, you're right, derived, yes. You can say that as well, exactly. In other words, um, uh, yeah, in other words, it is the starting point, starting point to build different forms. Understand, Barakallahu Fikum? Is this clear? Huh? Is this clear? Okay. Now let me give you yani, another example other than the example that I've given you yesterday. So we said for example, um, let's take for example, but 
ضرب ضرب اوكي ناو ضرب فروم ضرب از سورس تو ليبرال ميني اوكي اذا في اي كويستشنز تراي تو ليف ذيم ات ذا اند بيكوز وي ويل الاو ان شاء الله كويستشنز ات ذا اند ان شاء الله اوكي جست سو وي دونت لوز تراك اوف وات وي ار اكسبلينينج ان شاء الله طيب طيب ضرب Hold on, please. Tayyib. Darb. Darb means hitting. Darb. I'm just going to give you an example of what, of what is, um, yani, an example of a pronoun, of a, of a, of a, of a verbal noun. Okay. Darbun is what? Is hitting. It is hitting. That's darb. Yani, what we call the act of hitting in Arabic, we call it darb. Darb. Okay. From darb, many forms are built. Okay, how? By transferring, and it's, a, it's as if you're taking those letters, okay, and you're um, uh, placing them somewhere else, like a laboratory, okay, or a factory, and you are rebuilding them to another form, okay? Wadi? Clear, Barakallahu Fikum? So you're taking the same letters. You always take the same letters. That means, uh, yeah, and with every form you wish to build, those three letters should be should always be with you. Understand, Barakallahu Fikum? Okay. So you say, for example, you bring different forms. So you say Barada, and you say Barabtu, and you say Barabta, and you say Barabti. Okay, just an example. I'm going to give you just an example, insha'Allah. Simple example, insha'Allah. Barabti. Okay, then you're going to say, for example, oops. You're going to say, Barabtuna. Uh, and you're going to say, Barabtum. And you're going to say, Barabna um, and Baraba and so on. Baraba and so on. Wadih. Wadih hada ula. Okay? Now see, notice here. Hold on. Barada, see, Barad, Barad, two, Barad, Ta, Barad, T, Barad, Tuma, Barad, Tum, Barad, Na, Taraba. What do you notice? Mm. You notice that every form is different than the other in general. And mostly, okay, every form is different than the other. Okay, this is one of the things you notice. Another thing you notice, exactly, another thing that you notice that the letters of the uh, verbal noun are all there always, are always there. The letters of the verbal noun are always there. You need the dot and the ra. Yes, it would be recorded and you could view it anytime, insha'Allah. No problem. Not there? No problem. It's there. So the dot and the ra and the ba. It's all there in every form. And in every single form, you're going to find the dot and the ra and the ba. With me? Clear? Mm -hmm. Okay, we told you in the previous class that the letters which are found in almost every form, huh? Oh, uh, what are they called? What are they called? Mm. Original letters, okay? Yeah, and the root letters are called original letters. Very good. Root letters, original letters, it's the same, okay? Uh, and whatever, yeah, any, uh, 
يعني letter other than the original root letters are called extra. Okay? Because we have added them to the root letters. We have added them to what? To the root letters. Understood? Ah, understood, Barakallahu Feekum. Don't worry, I, you know, uh, some of you might be saying, whoa, whoa, that's too much Arabic, we don't know what's going on here. No, don't worry. This is just a demonstration, just to give you an idea of what you're going to do. We're going to explain all that thoroughly, inshallah, step by step. Don't worry, man. Don't panic. Wabi, this is clear? This is what you're going to do. You're going to be given principles that will give you the capability to build those forms by yourself. That's right, by yourself. I'm going to say it a third time, by yourself. Okay? And through those principles, you're going to see how much of a perfect language Arabic is. And how easy it is. Easier than any other language. And this comes in opposition to what is uh, spread falsely and cunningly about the Arabic language that it is the most difficult. That's because, believe it or not, that's because they don't want you to learn Arabic, especially the enemy. Why? Because if you learn Arabic, you'll know your deen properly. And if you know your deen properly, you will give them a hard time, and you will be a threat to them, wherever you are. Well, because if you know your deen properly, you will practice properly, and that's, what, and that's not what they want. Yes, that's true, believe it or not. And uh, things are not, aren't always what they seem, Barakallahu Feekum. And there's much behind the curtains. And there's much that you don't know of what they secretly do, and plan, and plot. And they plot. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever watchful. Wabi? So don't believe, and I'm going to prove to you, insha'Allah, through those series of classes, how easy Arabic is. Insha'Allah ta'ala. With every bit of strength and breath that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeps in my body, insha'Allah, I will show you, insha'Allah, in practice, live, every other day. And not only that, I will show you also the differences, and yani how much of a difference on the, the, yani, this makes. How much of a difference this makes in every verse that you read of the Quran. Wabi? But I need, I need a, yani a couple of favors from you, insha'Allah ta'ala. Okay? I need some favors from you, yani in order insha'Allah, so we can help each other out to get there, to reach to that level, okay? See, barakallahu feekum, okay? And please bear with me, because I'm going to go a bit off topic, just, just for a bit, insha'Allah, okay? Many people start. Many people start. But few are consistent. Few are patient. This is the most important thing. This is the most important thing. Okay? Because it's not that you just start. It's that you are patient with what you have started with and that you finish it to the end. Okay? And this is one of the main reasons why I have made this See, yani, simple, I have simplified this. Yani, whoever is in this batch is lucky because, why? Is luckier because this is yani, the most simplified compared to the previous batches. Okay? So, if inshallah I'm doing the effort, inshallah, to simplify it for you, uh, help me help you by, by what? By being consistent with those classes. Even if it's the recording, no problem. You don't have to attend live if uh, you can't help it, but at least with the recording. Okay? And be patient, because uh, knowledge only comes with patience, Barakallahu huh? 
Knowledge only comes with patience. And uh, you've seen, inshallah, those of you who are, read the Quran and read the Sunnah, you've seen what hastiness did to those who were before you. It caused them to, to not learn. And it caused them to do a lot of trouble. Wadih barakallahu feekum. Okay. Okay, going back to the word of, world of self again. Okay? Now let's, let's break it down, inshallah. Let's break it down, inshallah. Okay? Okay. Uh, the second part of the, um, it says here, sarf turning the source into different what? Into different forms. The word forms, what does it mean? Uh, what does it include? What does it include? It includes uh, four things. First, it includes the number of letters. Oops. Number of letters. Secondly, it in, uh, what the what we call the harakat. We're going to explain all this. Don't worry. Okay. Thirdly, what hmm. The order, yes, that's right. The order. Fourthly, the uh, original and extra letters. Okay? Original and extra letters. Now, of these four things, what have we explained uh, so far? I mean, so far, the number, it doesn't need explanation, really. The original, very good. The original and extra letters, we have explained that, correct? Now you know, or you have an idea, a brief idea of what is original and what is extra, correct? The order, yeah, I mean, it doesn't need explanation. Which letter comes first and which comes after? Now we're going to explain the harakat, inshallah. The harakat, okay? The word harakat means these sounds, the different particular sounds uh, that are pronounced, pronounced, pronounced with each letter. With each letter. This is harakat. Okay? Yeah, the vowels. Basically the vowels. And the... Okay. We'll write it here then. Okay? And the singular... The singular... Is what? Is harakah. Harakah. Okay? Now, haraka linguistically, and in the language, haraka here, let me ask you a question to see if you're with me or not. Haraka here is a technical term, and it's used for a technical meaning or, or the linguistic meaning? Ah, technical. Very good. Uh, knowing the linguistic meaning helps you understand the technical meaning. Okay? Okay, therefore, I'm going to give you now, for each term that we are going to take, the technical meaning as well as the, uh, the linguistic meaning as well as the technical meaning. Okay, now haraka linguistically means movement. 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 Okay, that's what it means. It means movement. So, linguistically, it means what? Movement. Movement. Okay? Linguistically. Technically, it means the signs which represent 
represents certain Allahu Mustaan, Allahu Mustaan, Allahu Mustaan. May Allah help us all. Uh, technically, it means the signs which represent <laughs> the signs which represent. Wallahi, we don't know whether to to laugh or cry. Uh, technically, it means the signs which represent certain movements of the mouth. certain movements of the mouth, okay? Uh, the signs which represent certain movements of the mouth, okay? Let's take those signs. Let's take those signs, Hashem, okay? Um, okay, uh, this is the first sign. Okay, let me just draw a line first. One minute. Okay, let me draw a line just to uh, show you what we're talking about, Misham. Okay. <coughs> this is uh, the Fatha and the Kasra and the Bamba. Please pay attention eh? and be patient, Insha'Allah. Barakallah feekum. Patience is the key. Okay, see Barakallah Fikum. See, see this sign, and this sign, and this sign. Those are the vowels in Arabic. I'm going to give you the name of each, okay? Then I'm going to explain, inshallah, those names, okay? Uh, let's take a new board, so let's copy this and go to a new board, inshallah. Inshallah ta'ala. Okay? Now the first sign, yes, inshallah. Is it big enough? Okay. The first sign, the first, okay. Can you, can you describe the first to, uh, to me? Huh? Yani in writing. How does the, the yeah, Zabar, yes. Uh, that's in Urdu, okay. But I mean, yani, the, uh, how does it look like? How does it look like? A tilted dash above the letter. Love it? Yes? Uh, a tilted dash above the letter. Okay? Above. So it comes above. Love it? The first sign... Yes, and how do you... Okay, that's, that's the writing. Okay, what about the pr pronunciation? Yeah? An A sound. It gives an A sound. Okay. The first sign they have called A Fetha. 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 Okay? The first sign they have called what? Fatha. They have called the Fatha. Okay? Now, linguistically, and here we can say here the title, okay? We can write a title here that says the Harakat. Okay, plural of harakah. Okay, the harakat are three. What are the harakat technically? Don't forget. What are the harakat technically? Ah, the sign. No, not the movement itself. It's not the movement. It's the signs. Allah Musta'an. Insha'Allah, I forgive. 
I forgive everyone, insha'Allah. Baid. Except those who insist on wrong. The, the, the first sign they have called what? Uh, no, no. The signs which represent the mouth movements. The signs. So they call, they, they, they gave that name on what? The signs itself. Okay? Don't say the movement. Because the movement is not the study of, uh, of Arabic, yani sarf or, or, or nahum. Okay? But what is meant is what? Is the, the sign itself. Okay? The first sign they have called a fatha. 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 Now, linguistically, the fatha is what? Linguistically. Linguistically, this word means opening. An opening. A single opening. That's linguistically, what it means linguistically. Okay? They have used this name. Which name? Ah. Fatha. Just checking that you're with me. They have used this name, Al Fatha, to technically mean that sign, pay attention, because it is made by the typical um, vertical opening of the mouth. Do you agree? Ah, 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 ah. Wabih? So you're going to do that sound with every letter. Okay? So let's see. So now, how do you pronounce? Hold on. So, for example, how do you pronounce this one? Ah. Ah. Oh, yes, made by. Is that a little thing? Made by. Uh, ah. See? See, I, uh, I wrote that letter, and then what did I do? <coughs> I, I put that sign on top of that letter. Okay? I put that sign on top of that letter showing you that you should pronounce that letter with an A sound. That means with that with a typical vertical op opening of the mouth with that letter. Ah. Ah. Wabi? Tayyib. No. Tayyib, what about this one? <clears throat> What about this one? Ba. Tayyib, this one? Ta. Tayyib, this one? Sa. Jayid. Tayyib, this one? جاء أحسنتم الله أكبر اللهم بارك اللهم بارك means may Allah bless that means in you طيب طيب what about this one ها or ها which one first or second ها or ها Ah, the second. <laughs> Some are saying the first. Because you need to make a difference between ha, see, ha, ha. Yeah, a typical exhale, ha. Okay, that's, that's not this one. 
that's not this one okay okay uh, the uh, this one what happens you see when you when you when you get burned huh when you get burnt what what happens what sound do you make uh, some of the sounds you do a, No, no, and you're not a severe burn, but just, you know, ah, uh, ah, see, ah, ah, that's the sound of this letter, okay? So, ha is this letter, ha is another letter, okay? You got the idea of the fact, ha? Huh? Ah, okay, that's the fact for you. Okay, and do you know why it's called the Fetha now? Is it clear to you why it's called the Fetha? Isn't it beautiful the uh, relationship between the linguistic meaning and the uh, technical meaning? It makes sense, doesn't it? That's what they always do. They always bring the, uh, the technical meanings are always relevant. There's always, re there's always relevance with the, with the what? With the linguistic meaning. Because that's where they bring it from. Okay? Hey. Second, the second, the second, second sign, they have called what? Yalla, you know, inshallah. They have called a kasrah. Kasrah. Kas, kasrah. Rah, kasrah. Kasrah. Okay? Now, linguistically, again, why am I mentioning the linguistic meaning first? Huh? To show the relationship. To show you that they got the technical meaning because it shares the linguistic meaning. I mean, it is taken from the linguistic meaning. Okay? Yani, the meaning to say that the linguistic meaning is the technical meaning and more. Okay? And the, te and the technical meaning is the linguistic meaning but specified. Understood? Yes, yes, you're right. Well, there. So, linguistically, this means, I mean the kasra. Linguistically, this word means what? A break. A breaking. Or, let's say, a single breaking. Okay, they have used this, should the half from Kesra be from the middle throat as well? He, inshallah, we'll explain that inshallah as we go along, we'll explain that inshallah. No, no sort of book, I mean, now we're, we're, I want to make it simpler for you, for, for our respected brothers and sisters, so uh, following the book, I want to make it another level, okay? Now, we'll, we'll, what we'll do, we'll do yeah, a, a, a concise, yeah. so you don't take long, and at the same time, you benefit quickly, yeah. are you? Yeah. So, inshallah, we'll just give you the, 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 yeah, the, the point of self, right? okay? The main points, yeah. okay? So, uh, because these days, in our time, a lot of people are obsessed with uh, with uh, huh? with fast uh, yeah, any fast meals. Quickly, quickly. Let's finish quickly, and we want to finish in a, in a month. We want to be eloquent Arabic speakers in a month. Okay, people are obsessed with that nowadays. In, in these ages, yeah, and the sabr is gone. So we need to, huh? Yani, insha'Allah, teach as well with hikmah. So, insha'Allah, we will go, yani, 
uh, on a fast pace, but not on the account of not clarifying things. Yeah, so we're going to uh, brief, we're going to brief you, but at the same time, making sure, insha'Allah ta'ala, that you, that you what? That you understand, so you can at least pick up, at least. Because if you pick it up, trust me, if you pick it up, trust me, you will not get enough of it. Yani you'll be addicted to it, inshallah. So that's the, the, the main point, inshallah. They have used this name. Yani, which name? Huh? Yani means it means. When I say yani, it means it means. It means it means. Got it? Kasra. Kasra. They have used this name Kasra to technically mean, to technically mean, ah, mean, there we go, to technically mean that sign because it is made. Uh, by be, being up. Please repeat being up. Being up. I didn't get that. Barakallahu uh, feek. What exactly do you want me to repeat? Uh, because it is made by breaking up. Uh -huh, yes, because it is made by, it is made when, when, you can say when, yes, it is made, oh, by the mouth, breaking into a smile. It means homie, no, no, it doesn't mean homie, no. La barakallahu feek. لا وبارك الله فيك الله المستعان طيب but even there you say أخي right even though you're not you're supposed to prolong that you say أخي ah so it can't be it can't it can't mean homie then واضح so it means يعني means what it means it means the mouth breaking into a smile. The mouth breaking into a smile. Yes, but you should watch out, Yani, huh? Yani, barakallahu feekum, may Allah preserve you over there. You should uh, watch out from, uh, from altering our language, huh? Especially with the accent. So try to say it correctly, Yani. Don't prolong what uh, should not be prolonged, and at the same time, and you don't do vice versa. So it's akhi. No. Not ah, for example, etc. You know what I mean. So the mouth breaking into a smile. The mouth breaking into a smile. No, the brother risk, inshallah. The mouth breaking into, into a smile. أليس كذلك؟ When you say e, 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 huh? See, smile with a sound. The e sound will come. Okay. Examples. Half one, half one. Please pardon me a moment. Please pardon me a moment. طيب. So ألف باء تاء ثاء جيم ها نا ها. Okay. So if I write this that sign with this letter, half one means pardon. Half one means pardon. Okay. Then he's saying pardon me. Well there. No. 
So, Nam, huh? How do you say this one? Khi, huh? Like Akhi, Alisa Kadalik. Alisa Kadalik Akhi. Huh? Nam. Khi. Tayyib. Thumma. What about this one? Huh? D. 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 See, Barakallah Fikum. Be careful. Don't prolong. Yani, restrict, restrict the sound. Yes, that's right. D. 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 What I said, D. 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 Well, there. And you don't, uh, don't, uh, don't let it go. Okay? Yes, don't let it loose. Don't let that sound loose. Hold it down. Wale? D. Yeah, because if you say D, you're saying this. That's basically what you're saying, like this. You're, you're saying this. Wale? Wale? No, let's say D. This is D. Okay? All right. But what about this? Huh? Z. Z. It's like they, it's like saying T-H-E. Okay? Please. Asian brothers and sisters. It is not Z. Meaning, yes, excused. It is not Al-Lazina. Be careful. That will destroy your prayer. It is LV. It's just like saying the T H E. V. V. V matter. See? V. That's how to say it. Okay? Don't say Z. Huh? It is Mu'az. And it's not it is not Mu'az. It is a V Shan. Some of the Asian names. V Shan. Not Z Shan. Okay? So Z. Now, now prayer destroyed. Allah Akbar. Of course, absolutely. Except if there's a defect, the person cannot say it at all. That's something else. Okay, but it is easy to say in all in every time. Now the maharaj we will not finish if we point every maharaj. So, inshallah, suffice with pronouncing. Okay? Yes, it is very scary. That's why Sheikh al-Islam says what? One of the senior scholars of all time says what? Says that's what, that proves that part of Arabic is obligatory upon each and every Muslim. Part of it. And it is the part which, which who? Sheikh al-Islam. It is the part uh, which uh, r yani, corrects your prayer. Which corrects your prayer. Now, Kha dal dal ra ha ri ri ri. There's a kadalik. Now, this is Z. This is Z. You didn't get it. Huh? Yani, uh, pronouncing Al Fatiha correctly, isn't it part of Arabic? Hmm. Okay, so this proves that part of Arabic is obligatory upon each and every Muslim, which is the extent or the uh, portion which corrects the ibadah. Huh? I'll give you another example. Huh? Allahu, uh, what do you say in the beginning of your prayer? Yes, I will let you know the difference, inshallah. Begin, beginning of you say what 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 beginning, beginning beginning of your prayer what do you say? Allahu Akbar. Correct. Okay. If you say Allahu Akbar, huh? If you say Allahu Akbar. Yani, you're trying to beautify it, mashallah, and you think that if you sing it like that, 
It's part of beautifying your Allahu Akbar. When it is ruining it, if you say Allahu Akbar, yes, you have not started your prayer. Why? Ask me why. Huh? Because if you say Allahu Akbar, you are asking. Is Allah greater? Is Allah greater? That's what you're doing. Yes, if you're prolonged. That's right. Okay? So, what did you do here? You prolonged what should not be prolonged. You prolonged what should not be prolonged. So, instead of you saying that uh, number of letters, you added a letter. Yes, so halas. Yeah, and you haven't started your prayer yet because you did not say Allah is great, greater, but you said what? Is Allah greater? Wadih? And is in Allah any doubt? Is there any doubt that Allah is greater? Huh? No, there's no doubt. So why are you asking then? If you uh, say it in the way of asking, then it is not valid. Wadih? It's just an example, Barakallahu Feekum. Ah, very good question, Ya Muhammad. Very good question. Okay, another example is what the brother Muhammad mentioned. No. Uh, no, Alhamdulillah, the Mu'addinun, the people who do Adam, they don't prolong the, uh, the Alif. Uh, but another example, if you say, Allahu Akbar, that's popular as well. That's common as well. Allahu Akbar. Wow. Yeah, you not a. Uh, Allahu Akbar. Akbar. Huh? And some scholars said that's not enough. That's not correct. Why? Because you did not pronounce an a a a before the kaf. You said Allahu wa Akbar. You didn't say a uh, Akbar. And it is not Akbar. It is Akbar. Okay? Another example. Some people say, Allahu Akbar. Bar. Bar. Like so. So they prolong what? Ah. They prolong the ba. Allahu Akbar. They prolong the ba. And do you know that prolonging the ba will result to the statement giving a meaning that is kufr. That's right. I'm not exaggerating here. Yes. Of course, you, I'm not saying that the one who said it, it's a kafir. Be careful. And you mark my words. Do not... Uh, huh? Do not put in my mouth uh, words that I have not said. I said it will mean it will give a meaning of kufr. Why? Because when you say Allahu Akbar, Bar Akbar, Akbar is, means, is the plural of Kabr. It is the plural of Kabr, Kabr. And you know what Kabr means? No, not Kibr. That's pride is Kibr. But Kabr is drum, is a type of a drum. So if you're saying Allahu Akbar instead of Allahu Akbar, what would it mean? It means Allah is drums. It means Allah is drums. And did Allah command you to say in the beginning of your prayer, Allah is drums? Huh? No. Wadih? So now I believe you agree that some, yani a part of Arabic is obligatory upon each and every Muslim to learn. Of course, that's, yes. Some will teach you that as well. Hmm. Some will not only teach you that, it will teach you the meanings as well. Huh? 
I'll give you time, inshallah. Don't worry. I'll give time, more time, inshallah. Okay, these are just examples. Now let's go back to what we were explaining. So, this is the E sound. Okay? Now, let's go to the last one, which is the, what we're going to finish today, inshallah. Okay, very good. And I know a lot of you know it, but you know, you have to also explain for those who don't. Okay, third. The third, <clears throat> the third sign they have called a, a what? Bum. That's how they pronounce it. Bum. Ba, ba. Not that. Ba, bum. Oh yes, a brother asked. Uh, he still did not get the difference between the zai and the zal. See, barakallahu feek. When you say z, 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 you are not letting your tongue out of the borders of your teeth. Okay? Yeah, and your tongue should not exceed the borders of your teeth. Okay? But the zal, zal, you're going to press the tip of your tongue against the upper teeth. And it's going to exceed a bit of the borders of your teeth. Z, 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 zal. But zal, zai, zai, does it come out? It doesn't come out at all. But za, it slightly comes out. Wadih? The ha, huh? Which ha? The one we wrote on the board or the other one? Huh? You mean the ah, ha, ha, ah, ah. Ah. Ha. Ha. Ah. Ah. Yeah, and it's like it's like you're closing in on your throat. It's like you're straightening your throat. It's like you're straightening your throat. Now we'll get time, inshallah. Okay. It will be only one hour for the teaching, okay? And another 10 minutes for questions, inshallah. Okay, let's uh, pause the questions for a while, okay? And go back to, just to clarify our last point. The third sign, they have called Banna. Why they have called the Banna? Linguistically. This word means uh, joining together or a single joining together okay yes inshallah a single a single joining together they let's see how we wrote it how we said it they have used this name to technically mean yes they <coughs> have used this term to technically mean what to technically, uh, techni technically mean. Um, that sign uh -huh, to technically mean that sign because it is made it is made by joining ah i'm sure you can guess joining your lips together yes puckering your lips together joining your lips together in an o shape okay 
Okay? Making an oo sound. Okay? How did you make that oo sound? You join you put your lips together. You can say that if you want, yes. But circling you, you could circle your mouth uh, when you open it wide in a circle. Better to say join your lips together. Okay? Because that's the better way of saying it. So let's give examples for this. Quick examples, inshallah. <coughs> Quick examples, inshallah ta'ala. Where, where did we start? Huh. Huh. How do you pronounce this? Su. 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 Yes, you have permission, inshallah. You don't have to ask for permission, inshallah. Everyone who needs to go can go, inshallah. Su, su. Tayyib. Ah, this. Ah. Shu. Shu. Not shu. Don't say shu. 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 Tayyib. This. Ah. Su. 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 This bull, 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 bull. Inshallah, in the future, inshallah, I'll teach you how to properly pronounce this, inshallah, these letters. This is Fetha and Kesra and Dhamma. Okay? Barakallahu feekum. That's enough for today, inshallah. Let's take questions, if there are any. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Play, 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 play. Uh, play. The first question is why is the source the, in the definition of the sarf a verbal noun and not the root letters? Because it's not just the letters; it's a type of a type of word. Again, it's an actual word, and it is a word of the type of verbal nouns. Understand? Uh, having it as root letters makes more sense as root letters are specific changes while the mustard can have extra letters and may also be the same for two different roots. I've read the F1 and uh, is a reply to now. Yes, because that's how it is in the Arabic language, in the Arabic sciences. Yeah, even even though uh, I mean, the root letters might make more sense to you, but yeah, I mean, we are abiding by our yeah, I mean, scholars. They said this is the root. The root word is this. This is the root word. And saying that it's a root word does not contradict uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the forms being made by the root letters. Many Imams usually who follows Imam Hanifa rahimahullah, our side used to say, Wallah, I asked once some of them and got something like both are correct. No. No, it's not correct. Balin. Not Valin. Wallah, This is what I know. What I know, uh, I don't know of another Qira'ah. Another style of reading where the bad is changed into a va. Okay? And me not knowing does not mean I'm saying it isn't there. But as far as I know, it's only a bad. Well, a balin. Okay? Because well, a balin means those who remain. Val means those who remain somewhere. The bal is those who are astray. Okay? Just keep your question ready in the chat box so you can just, you know, put it up. A red afwan is a reply to shukran. Yes. Yes. 
a, a good question. Allahu A'lam. To tell you the truth, I do not know the answer to that. Even though I'm Arab, I do not know why it is said after in reply to that. And what is the relevance? relevance Allahu A'lam. One of the root letters of the word Mastar, Saad, and the da, Dal, and the Ra. Are we going to do the book Tasif al Izzi in another level, inshallah? Not in this one. Uh, question, customary is urfi, and technical is istilahi. Naam, both are same with different words. Yani, istilahi, uh, urfi is more general than istilahi. Yani, istilahi is a certain customary term. Yani, a customary to a certain people of a certain science. Understood? This is what, uh, what the difference between the two. In English, we write the, as the, yes, as T H E. Naam. Can we ask questions from introduction classes? Uh, inshallah. Uh, um, uh, Ustad, uh, are there more words other than what you've taught us uh, that can be made from the three root letters you taught us in the previous class and also Barb, we learned today? More words other than what you've taught us uh, that can be made from... Yes! Yeah, I told you. I told you in the previous class, you can go up to like a, yeah, I mean, 200 forms and more. Yes, of course. These are just examples. Na'am, barakallahu feekum. I think the brother meant a volume. Yeah, that's what I meant as well. Ustad, can you please say how the voice should come from mouth when, and, and where... The tongue should touch for dhamma. The voice. Yani a running breath. It's like a running breath. Ooh. From your stomach. Okay, you're letting breath out. Ooh. Ooh. Father? Difference between seen and sad. See. 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 See is. Same as breaking into a smile as well. See, see, uh, uh, or seen, a seen, sad, seen. Yani if you want to tell the difference, give the seen a kasra and the saw the fatha, and you tell the difference. Saw, saw, saw. And if you want to know the particular difference, this is not taught here, it's taught in Tajweed, inshallah. So, inshallah, if there is. Future classes, inshallah, in Tajweed, we'll explain it. Otherwise, inshallah, just uh, try to copy my, the way I say it, inshallah, just for now. Tayyid barakallahu feekum. Is must a root word? Yes. Is a root word the same as root letters? It has the root letters. And every root word has the root letters. And every form has, should have the root letters. Okay? Now. I've been taught that the Hanbalis make an exception for using wa for those who can't pronounce wa due to them being close in makhraj. No, they are not close in makhraj. They were way far. But you mean to say that they have made an exception for those who fail to say it. To say it. Those who fail to pronounce it because of a defect in their tongue of the, or uh, yani, due to their tongue being not uh, not used to the Arabic, uh, yani, uh, this is an exception. Yani, this is an exception to only them, but not made as a general ruling. Understood, Barakallahu Feek? From introduction class, Quran is recited and sung. And why we say it is sung? Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that تغنى بالقرآن He commanded actually تغنى and Taghani, Taghani is singing the Qur'an, okay? But it is probably that you have, uh, yani you're sort of like, yani inside you, you're not accepting the word singing because it refers to the, yani, to the, uh, uh, to the, um, uh, the, uh, yani, uh, the, the way the kuffar sing. That is not meant, yani. What is meant is the mere singing. Done in the normal way, not in a certain way that the kuffar do it, like riffs and runs and all that uh, garbage. No, yani or uh, yani. 
I mean, and you're doing it in the in the way that songs, the the Western songs are made. No, that's not what is meant. What is meant is the mere singing. 